Well, the man behind the hit TV show, Dirty Jobs, you've seen that, right? Well, he's in Kello Land promoting the importance of technical education. Mike Rowe is making several stops during his time in South Dakota, including a visit to Midwest Rail Car Repair in Brandon. Kello Land's Matt Holson shows us how Rowe is helping to spread awareness about tech schools and the Build Dakota Scholarship. Dozens of workers at a rail car repair company in Brandon are lining up to meet producer and popular TV show host Mike Rowe. Rowe is passionate about closing the skills gap in the country. My foundation and your efforts in this state share a lot of space on the old Venn diagram, you know, and I, and I think if we make a, a more persuasive case for the opportunities that exist, the skills gap will start to close and hopefully uh, the outrageous cost of tuition will start to come down. The Mike Rowe Works Foundation has granted more than $5 million in technical and vocational education. Here in South Dakota, the Build Dakota Scholarship funds 300 full scholarships every year in industries such as healthcare, construction, plumbing, and welding. These two-year technical degrees that offer a skill that's in demand today, that's a very valid pathway to success. And it doesn't mean that when you graduate with that two-year degree and you start in a job in a certain area, that's the end to your career. It just means you have an entry ticket to a real job that pays well, and then the sky's the limit from there. There's always a need for more workers in these fields. Here at Midwest, right now they would take 15 more welders. Making the public aware of those jobs is the point behind Rose's visit. And my foundation right now, we have a lot of people who are working debt-free, making six figures, that nobody knows about and nobody talks about because what our country aspires to vocationally doesn't look like the opportunities that are actually present. He hopes people pay more attention to those opportunities and don't automatically opt for a four-year university. In Brandon, Matt Holson, Kello Land News. Roe and the governor are also making stops at technical institutes in Sioux Falls and Watertown as part of the New Day in Tech Ed event.